I'm Marty Levinson, and you're watching Northtown News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show, and we're about ready to begin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yours. I want to go Yeah, I want you. Oh, thank you. Yes, I do. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> I should say that on the air. I will. Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Back to that lemon light city, sweet home Chicago. Two is four, 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 six. Come on, baby, now get your business face. Come on, honey, don't you... Hi there, I'm the real Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show with the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch, and your host, Avi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. And uh, we want you to check our website out, w mtnm.org uh, where you can catch all our shows on YouTube. Uh, we're also on a number of different stations so at the website you can see all the different days and times and on Evanston now you can watch live, I like to call it live screaming video or streaming video of the show when it's on Thursdays at 8 o'clock by going to ecmctv.com. Uh, I want to say hi to Mark Shipper who is a reporter for the New Star and for Insight Publications who's been with us at the shoot today. I want to also say hi to Odette Youssef uh, from Public Radio. It was a pleasure meeting you. And they've got a neighborhood office not too far from here. Um, our lead guest today is somebody that's um, sitting alderman of the city of Chicago, was going to make a serious run for mayor, and unfortunately um, health problems got in the way. And that's Alderman Bob Fioretti of the Second Ward. Alderman yes, Fioretti, how are you doing? I'm doing great, and it's great to be here. Thank you. First of all, thank you. And how's your health doing? Uh, my health is all right. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I said at the press conference uh, on Election Day uh, that when somebody tells you you have a diagnosis of uh, cancer, uh, it hits you like a train. And you take, you step back, you look at things, and uh, uh, I, I could have made the run for uh, mayor, but it would have taken about two hours a day uh, away from the run for about seven, eight weeks uh, as I have the treatment. And I thought that was going to Im impact on how I campaign, getting out to reaching out to the people, uh, which I think is very important. And this is going to be a rough and tough campaign for mayor. And I want to reach as many people as possible. I was fortunate. And I want to thank the 33,000 signatures that I could read on our petitions. <laughs> That's uh, 20,500 more than the legal requirement. Right, and we probably would have collected a minimum of 15,000 on election day because we had 150 volunteers uh, going to the polls and, and they would have been in the top 10 wards and the top 10 precincts and they would have been collecting signatures at those precincts and I'm, I'm sure that we would have captured a, a significant number of signatures. Uh, we've already crossed, we had already crossed off signatures uh, uh, to reach that 33,000 so we were much more uh, in terms of the, the, the people that we touched. But, you, know, you had 150 volunteers going? Yes. Wow, that's yes. impressive. And people from all around the city came and they weren't the regular, they weren't um, the political types, the people that are in the know, the people that really want to change in this city and want to see change. Well, you're not, you're exactly, you don't exactly fit into any conventional category of alderman, which is one of the reasons I like you. Well, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Thanks. Thanks. And, uh, but, you know, as I talk about the health issue, uh, I had a very rare form of cancer. It, it, it's on the tonsil. But I have to tell you, all across the the country, I've received calls from people that have had this. Uh, my doctors say the prognosis is fantastic. Uh, I'll be a little slow right at the be uh, beginning of the year uh, because of the impact of all the, uh, I'm gonna have uh, seven weeks of radiation, five days a week, and I'll have three different hits of chemo during the course of the treatment, and it's pretty well controllable. I got some of the best doctors in the world. I'm, I'm, I'm at Northwestern, but I think in this whole city, we are so fortunate to have, uh, whether it's Rush, U of C, uh, even County Hospital, uh, that we have access to great health care. And uh, if, I, if we were in a small town, uh, to make the trek to some hospital to be doing this, it would be very difficult for most uh, Americans. Uh, and I think we should be fortunate about the health care that we have here in this city. 
No, there's no question there's some great health care. And unfortunately, my family's had to avail themselves of, over the course of the time. And I've seen up close that there are, really are some pretty fantastic people around. Yeah, and even the, the smaller hospitals uh, that are throughout the city and the, and the suburbs are, are just incredible in terms of what they do and how they reach out to people. And we need to keep those, uh, we need to keep our community health care uh, centers open. We need to uh, reach out to our citizens and, and make sure, I think the, the, the key point is that people ought to be in tune with their body. They ought to know that if something's wrong, go to a doctor, see a doctor, uh, and see what's wrong because, you know, this is a great life that we all have. Right. Uh, and it's going to be a long life for all of us, and let's make sure, and the only way we do that is by good health. And I, I encourage everybody to go to a doctor. In my case, I have to tell you, it was a, I received a flu shot on September 15th, and I never thought uh, that, uh, I don't like to go for shots. And I went to my eye doctor, and she says, oh, we're administering the uh, flu shots, you want one? And everybody I had been coming in contact with the, the, the prior week was sick with something. Yeah. And I said, okay, you know what, I'll have a flu shot. It, it developed in a little bit of a sore throat, and it was a persistent sore throat. I went to see the doctor. A couple of days later, uh, they said, let's, let's get you a CAT scan. They did the CAT scan. Let's have your tonsils out. They took the tonsils out. Uh, and so we're in a preventative stage right now. And I'm very fortunate that I received that uh, flu shot because I, I would have uh, probably been having a scratchy throat because I'm uh, talking all the time to so many different people. Since I got my tonsils out many years ago, um, did they give you ice cream? <laughs> oh, did they? Ice cream, and uh, uh, I went to Manny's for a lot of uh, uh, soup. I, I was, uh, I, we were a regular customer over there. I, I couldn't go out of the house for uh, seven days, actually eight days, and it was uh, soup all the time uh, and a lot of ice cream. By the way, Manny's, Manny's is mythic for Jewish Chicago, when you should grab a copy. I didn't write about the old manic stuff, but uh, that is one of my best locations for distributing copies is, is Manny's. I mean, it's amazing. Well, there's a ton of Jewish people there and people involved in politics and a lot of copies get picked up there. And by the way, I, I am doing a, just so people know, I'm actually going to do a paper for the Old Manics and the Mayorals, and I'm planning on covering a lot of the north side of the city. Okay. So, well, uh, well, come on down a little bit over to the uh, uh, site where Mrs. O'Leary's cow, because Manny's is really probably where the barn was at. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we have the, um, the, uh, the fire academy is a block away. It's a block north of Manny's. Right. I'm, and, uh, I am that, very familiar with that area because actually being in the, there were a lot of printers around there, and as a matter oh, of fact, yes. my old bi some of the binderies I used are no longer there anymore. It's not the same neighborhood. Right, right. But I, you know, I don't want to say names on the air, but I've I've availed myself of the printers and binderies in that area. Even my junior college paper was printed in that area. So uh, <laughs> okay, that that says something. Um, but it's no longer there. You're no, it's no yeah, longer yeah. there. And as a matter of fact, they don't use lead type anymore either. That's right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, it's, that was 123 years ago. <laughs> that's right. But I, I I have to always say, you know, Manny's has great corned beef, but so does Eleven City Diner over on Wabash, and we have another great one uh, called Brad Moons. Rubin. Uh, mm -hmm. Brad Rubin's, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then we have Moons over on uh, uh, six. It's about 16. Um, Southwestern, and it's a great little place. Uh, the reader uh, gave it one of the outstanding delis in the city that nobody knows about. It's a hidden little place, and uh, uh, it has. I don't the know best about it. I usually beef. distribute Jewish Chicago where people eat corned beef because when there's corned beef, you'll find Jewish people. Well, someday we'll, we'll go up there for lunch, and we'll, we'll I'll show it to you. Anyway, I appreciate. It. But uh, and by the way, I, I do keep kosher, so. I'll offer you some from Romania next time. Okay, you're here. You got it. absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> in any event, we should talk. You're still running for alderman, though. Yes, I am. Uh, my doctor said there wouldn't be any impact really on my campaigning or uh, going to work, and so I am running for alderman. I'm looking forward to, um, and I hope that the people of the second ward will reelect me. Uh, we've got a lot of a lot of activities going on in the second ward. In fact, I just came out of a meeting regarding uh, p placing the Costco at 14th and Ashland. Uh, we've been dealing with the Target over at, at Jackson and Racine, and we're putting a Pete's Fresh Market at uh, Western and Madison, as a matter of fact. And all those are, are about 230 jobs each, and so we're talking close to 700, 800 jobs in, in there of people working in those places. By the way, for the record, you're prob pretty much the south boundary of what we're covering. Okay. So, uh, because you know, how do you leave out Manny's and Brad Rubin's place and these other delis? I mean, seriously, that's where I distribute Jewish Chicago anyway. Uh, but but in any event, um, I haven't heard about any real opposition. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I think people. Oh, there were a lot of people that, because I was going to run for uh, mayor, jumped in, and oh. a lot of people uh, jumped out. Um, but there are still people that that, that want to run, and I I think it helps elevate the issues anyway. Uh, and 
uh, even though we have regular town hall meetings twice a year, I have clean and greens that, that uh, have between 300 and 600 people. Wow. I hear the, the what our citizens want in, this, in the second ward, and I'm in tune to it, but sometimes even a politician, an elected official can overlook an issue, and I hope not. That's why I'm try I try to be out there all the time, uh, but if we overlook something, somebody can raise it in a, in a nice debate and a, and a good debate. I want to thank you very much. Alderman Bob Fioretti, second word. I want to wish you, as we say in uh, French, a refour shlema, which means a complete recovery in Hebrew. I want to thank Enrique, who's always, a, it's always a pleasure to work with him and make the arrangements to get you on the show. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. If people want to contact you, they I mean call, the campaign or whatever. Uh, they can call my office at 312-263-9273, which if you still have those hard phones, it's, it goes 2ND Ward, second ward. Very good. Thank you very much, Alderman Bob Fioretti. Thank you.